Check that chocolate, mamita rica, let's do sabrosia con la manita de Ateneva. I'm Lalo from Colombia and I'm going to be in Ink Masters 2, which is a tattoo competition show hosted by Mr. Dave Navarro. Lalo. I look at this, this guy knows what he's doing. A lot of different tones of gradation. It's obvious you know how to tattoo. Working with Dave Navarro was really cool, even though he's a judge and I am being judged. But he's a pretty cool dude. He's someone who has been on, on rock and roll for many years. Growing up, I never thought about being a tattoo artist because where I come from, like, that was not even a concept or it didn't exist. I'm first generation of tattoo artists in Colombia. And I was really into music, into rock, rock, punk, all that. And these dudes, they all had tattoos. And I didn't know anyone with tattoos. So I was like, I think I can do that. So I started doing stick and poke tattoos and it was because of music, you know? Caramelo is a crazy project. It's, a, it's bubble gum from, for your brain. It started like kind of joking, but like with a very solid base, and it progressed to something else that we didn't expect. It. People found us on the internet, and we got a lot of proposals, and we were on a lot of blogs. And in the start, we were not a band. We were not. We just had one song, but like that kind of gave us a little push to to keep doing more. Hey, 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 I've been lucky enough to meet some of my favorite tattoo artists. I have like a Japanese piece here by Cory Kruger. All respect to Cory Kruger. I, uh, I am definitely a collector. I don't feel like getting tattooed. It's more like if I meet someone that I really like their work, I want to the, the work on me. In Colombia, the way tattoos are perceived now is like way different at how, uh, how it was like. 19, 20 years ago, what my dad said and any other dad would say was like it's for prostitutes, thieves and thugs. But it has changed, you know, like the world is a very small place now, like the internet brings information everywhere and like the tattoo culture is pretty big in Colombia now. Uh, there's tattoo shops everywhere, there's like amazing tattoo artists coming out. Everything is moving at a speed that like we didn't even dream about 15 years ago. My dad didn't know I was tattooing for the first three years. I mean, for them it was like, oh my God, what are you doing? Like, they didn't see it as a career. I didn't see it as a career. I just did it because it was fun and, and, and I liked it. And then people started giving me money. All these years later, like, they can see I have a successful life. I pay bills, I live happily, I travel the world. All the press, all the magazines, all the TV shows, all the interviews make them proud. Like, my dad is a guy who wears a tie to work and he's an executive and his friends come and he like shows them the magazine, like he thinks I'm the best tattoo artist in the world. Don't forget to watch Ink Masters 2 on Spike TV.